Why seek to know who you truly are? Why being lived by others, led afar so far? Who do you believe yourself to be? A question deep for you and me. But it may be difficult to answer with words, just like fighting was back in the day without swords. Words often imperfect vessels of thought, yet through them, truth can be sought. So I write to understand me. Sometimes reading, watching can make you see, see that others have been painting you and that that has now become the body that you see things through. So in the rain, let your paint be washed away, revealing the innocence of your birthday. How to know yourself. I won't give you steps to follow because you won't follow them. I won't give you a method to do because you won't do it. And even if you did, it won't last. And even if it lasted, you will keep doing it out of belief and not because it actually worked. How to know yourself, that's the question. I'm making myself understand through writing, which is what I do every day. And you may understand more about yourself through watching this or reading it. Or it may not, I don't care, that's the truth. As I only care about myself, which is true for everyone. And everyone who says it is not so is either lying or believing in his lie. For most, it's the latter. If you think it's bad that we care about ourselves and only care about ourselves, then you have not yet understood yourself because you do everything for yourself. I wrote this for myself as writing is a great medium for me to understand more about myself. And it's not really the thinking in the writing process that helps me learn. It's just seeing the words appear and rarely editing them really seeing them appear and then the realizations come as I read my own words, which you could argue are not my words. It's basically exposing my mind. And you may do this for yourself by talking out loud. And, and no, I'm not trying to say, do this now after you finish this video, just to try to share the consequences of writing and speaking what your mind is telling you all day. And that is just the first step. And it is a really important step to start to understand yourself or better said, who you are not and what you are not thinking. Or that's not the right way to say it, that you're basically not your thoughts. By the way, if you're newer, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people and only found out that these things don't matter after getting them. Well, I'm not sure if I would have believed someone before getting all of those things for external reasons, mostly status. I'm not sure if I would have believed someone else if they told me that it wasn't what I actually looked for. Because back then, I wasn't serious. I was ignorant, I was avoidant of anyone who would speak, who was maybe speaking the truth. Maybe you are as well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who you are. But to understand yourself, you have to be willing because you are able you have to be willing to examine your thoughts and if you desire something more than this then it's very likely you will pursue that thing and you try to avoid anything that will withhold you from getting that which was the case for me I pursued money which isn't bad but that's the truth so I avoided listening to anything that would prevent me from attaining more money so maybe to understand yourself one of the biggest thing you can do is to understand what you really want right now, not somewhere far in the future. What is it right now that you want most? And to, to do that, well, you can find that out in multiple ways, not one way, but a, an interesting insight may come to you when you look into what you have gotten so far. Maybe it's lots of girlfriends, and maybe it's because you wanted that. Maybe it's lots of money, because that's what you wanted. Maybe it's lots of employees, because you really wanted that. Maybe it's lots of medals, whatever it is. I think you get my point. What is it that you have gotten right now? Could be anything. Even if you think you haven't gotten anything in your life. You have, you have things around you. You have gotten something here. Maybe you have lots of books that you've read or maybe not, but you bought them. What is it that you wanted? What is it that you want right now the most? Maybe one of the most interesting insights that will leave you to a deeper rabbit hole, if you so desire, because it can go very deep, very deep. I wanted a lot of things, not for the reasons I thought I wanted them, only if I realized sooner. Now to be clear, I'm not here to help you. I'm not creating this to help you. This is the truth. And anyone that is telling you this, well, I've already mentioned it. They either lying to you and they know it's not true or they're believing their lie. 
because why would they? Why would I? I don't even know you. Maybe not yet, but I don't know you. You only care about other people so that they may care about you. You only care about other people so it may help you. You see, you even smile at someone. You even smile at a stranger so you may receive a smile back. And don't believe me, just look at what happens when you smile at someone and that person is not smiling at all back. Maybe even looking angry. What happens to your feelings? If you purely gave it without anything in return, expecting something in return, if you purely gave that smile, then how could it that your feelings are affected when you do not get the smile back? This is the truth. You do it so that you get something back. You do it so it may help you. And I'm not saying this is bad, even though the world is telling you that this is bad. You love someone, so you may receive love back. You care for your partner, so that when you are sick, you might be taken care of. You only say yes to that friend who asks you out to go somewhere where you don't want to go to. So that when you don't want to go somewhere alone and ask your friend to come with you, that he or she may say yes. You even donate to feel better. You would even pay for your kids because you have been conditioned to believe that you are a good father or mother if you do this that it might be a worthy way to an honorable way of because you would never for your kids or for someone else if it was looked down upon as a scandal as something really bad right would people start speaking if it was for losers to understand yourself is almost to understand the conditioning your conditioning everywhere where you've been, went basically anyone who ever spoke to you anything you've ever heard I recently even asked my parents, how would it be if you raised me without ever talking to me and ever letting someone else talk to me? How interesting would that child become? How pure or not maybe? So back to the question, why understand yourself? Why would you want that? Well, maybe to not waste life, maybe to not waste time. Because if you truly understood anything, everything about yourself, don't you think you would be free from yourself? and that being free from yourself would lead to a life without waste. And that living the rest of your days without waste would be the only thing that matters. Understand this, you will become who you believe yourself to become. And you have become who you believed yourself to be. So who do you believe to become? Do I believe myself to become a successful writer? Do I believe myself to become a professional athlete? The question is more important than the answer, as the answer is formed from the mind. And when the mind can explain it, when the mind can come up with an answer, it's usually not the truth. It's usually not the pure answer because you have been searching for words and I'm not sure about your vocabulary, but mine is limited. Everyone's is limited. Depends how much words you know, but it will be limited. Therefore, it will never be the truth. Trying to explain, trying to let your mind form a sentence with words about the things that matter to you is a way to be deceived by your mind. There will always be a gap between the purity within your heart and what's going on in here, between your heart and the purity of the words, between your heart and the words you use to describe that feeling or that thing. All the words you know are conditioned by the people who used them before you. So to understand yourself is to find a way to your heart. It may begin today after understanding that your whole existence is created out of thoughts. Thoughts, do you see this? You were once nothing except for being part of life, of nature itself. But then as you grew older, you created an identity, often multiple identities for yourself, almost to survive in this world. And you became attached to this person, to this identity. And when other people around you attack you or this person, this identity, you may become angry. So for instance, let's say you created yourself to be a purple man and your yellow father calls you red. You become angry maybe even furious. You're not red, red is for losers, so you believe. You are purple and the world must know, your father must know, you are purple. So you buy even more purple clothes. You even start to wear purple makeup. So your yellow father may never call you red again. You care so much. Why, my friend? Why do you want to be purple? Because you think it is good? And please replace purple with anything you believe yourself to be right now. For me, that was a successful CEO. All right, so why do you want to be this? Do you think, do you want to be this way because you think it is good? Well, who says purple is good? Who told you this? The world. 
other people. How got you so conditioned to believe that you must be purple and that purple is good? Is it because the outside world is stronger than your inside world? To know yourself is to know others. To know yourself is to, to know the colors others painted onto you. So you may stand in the rain and let the rain make your baby skin reappear again. To return to baby you, wouldn't that be beautiful? To return to the ignorance of having no color, to the ignorance of not even knowing there are colors. I mean, you look around, but you don't know this is a different color, right? You are not aware of all this information. May you return to baby you. It takes a lot of rain, my friend. May you find a storm, a storm powerful enough or stay painted forever. And if you try to find the truth in a particular situation in your own life or in this one, and you can't really seem to find it, then you can always email me or DM me on social. I don't ask for money, but I only respond to serious questions. So only the serious may check the show notes. Talk soon.